Mary Surratt was born in 1823 in Maryland. She and her husband owned a tavern in the outskirts of Maryland. After her husband died, she and her son, John Surratt, moved to Washington, D.C. and owned a boarding house. One of the boarders at the Surratt's boarding home was John Wilkes Booth, Lincoln's assassinator. Surratt is well known for being part of the Lincoln Conspiracy. Surratt's role in the conspiracy was that she housed them and contributed to the plot of Lincoln's assassination. At the Surratt boarding home in Washington, D.C., there was said to be many secret meetings involving Surratt and Booth. At Surratt's court trial, another boarder at the boarding house, Weichmann, testified she asked to see John Wilkes Booth and said she wished to see him on private business. These private business meetings were believed to be meetings about the plot of Lincoln's assassination. On the night Lincoln was assassinated, April 14, 1865, Surratt visited her tavern along with Weichmann. As Weichmann waited for her, she met John Wilkes Booth inside. After her visit to the tavern, Surratt went back to her home in D.C. Hours later, Lincoln was shot. The last time Surratt saw Booth was during the night after she met him at the tavern. He had stopped at her home, then fled. During Weichmann's testimony, he said that after Booth visited her home, Surratt's attitude became very nervous, agitated, and restless. Only hours after Lincoln was found dead, military investigators came to interview people at Surratt's boarding home, along with Surratt. One small piece of evidence they found were hidden pictures of Booth inside other pictures. At Surratt's court trial, she was proven guilty for being a contributor to Lincoln's death. Surratt died on July 7, 1865 due to a hanging. This also made her the first woman in America to be hanged. However, there is still some question as to how much involvement Surratt actually had in Lincoln's death.